Welcome to the Cardano 360 Mini for July. This month's episode focuses on a lot of topics, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. At the start of the show, we shared more news about the upcoming Cardano Summit. We want everyone to head over to the registration page, even if you've already registered, and let us know where you're located, because we want to host mini meetups all over the world in the locations you are. But first, we need to know where that is by you guys letting us know. In addition to the main event that's being hosted in Wyoming, there will be a virtual event alongside that. So anyone can attend, whether you attend in person or just go online, the first step is to register. After that announcement about the summit, we went straight into the news about Alonzo. On July 14th, we entered the Alonzo White phase, and the Plutus Partners and Catalyst Fund winners all gained access to Alonzo White. Alonzo Purple is the next stage following Alonzo White, and that will open up the testnet to the community. However, Purple will be split into two phases, Light Purple and Dark Purple. Light Purple will allow simple smart contracts, and Dark Purple will allow for more complex, robust smart contracts. In the Purple phase, we can expect to see hundreds of more community members join the testnet, with close to 1,000 expected by the time we reach Dark Purple. From there, we caught up with Lars, who is heading up the Education Department and the Plutus Pioneer Program to learn more about some of the education initiatives. And we found out that more people have joined the Plutus Pioneer Program this time around than the time before. And we also learned that universities have been reaching out and are interested in teaching Lars's course in the curriculum, specifically the European Business University of Luxembourg that offers remote courses in Africa and other developing countries. We heard from the Cardano Foundation about the developer portal they recently launched. It has lots of information for developers, but don't be swayed by the word developers if you're not one. This is a great resource of information about functionality and many projects currently running on the Cardano blockchain. This website is a great resource. Next, we got an update about how things are going in Africa and if you're new to the community, back in April, there was a massive deal announced with the Ethiopian government and the Ministry of Education to bring on 5 million users using IOG's Italaprism digital identity solution to track students' educational performance. They are now selecting which schools will be the first to deploy this technology and plan to have all the selected schools using this technology and the students on the blockchain by the end of the year. And John O'Connor mentioned a Haskell course they would be running in Ghana in January 2022 with the hopes that the course graduates can work locally with entrepreneurs and businesses to grow the community in this region. John also mentioned an upcoming trip with himself and Charles that would take place towards the end of the year across five or six countries across the continent of Africa, and we'll be sure to inform the community more about that as it gets closer. And finally, we saw a quick clip of the discussion between Charles, Mickey from World Mobile, and John. And you can see the full-length discussion if you follow the link in the description. We got an update from community manager Ben and his team about some of the initiatives we can expect to see from them very soon, which are a creative community space where others can meet and discuss ideas along with Twitter spaces on a weekly basis and a digest for the more technically inclined. After that, we got our monthly Catalyst update with Door. Things are continuing to grow and in Fund 5, we increased the number of unique wallets registered to vote by 30% from Fund 4. We now have over 32,000 unique wallets that have registered to vote with a total of 3.2 billion ADA voting power registered in Catalyst, which is almost 10% of the entire economy participating in our democratic process. Dora also spoke about Catalyst Circle, a leadership layer on top of Project Catalyst. This gives a human element to the process with a council of community elected members, each representing the needs of different parts of the community. There are currently seven representatives part of this council, one for stake pool operators, one for the Cardano Foundation, one for IOG, one for community advisors, one for fund proposals, one for the tool makers and maintainers, and one representative for general ADA holders. This is a pilot that will run for three months and a new evolved version of Catalyst Circle will take its place. And the recordings of these meetings will all be made accessible with a backlog of how each problem was addressed. And as for Fund 6, there will be $4 million worth of ADA available and the duration will be extended this time to just over three months. That's it for this Cardano 360 mini guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.